Hey YouTubers, gonna do a quick review of Nakwa's Adventure Gear 10 amp hour battery. Uh, I got a defective one and I wanted to show you how I tested it to make sure that I knew it was defective. So um, I just wanted to kind of run down what I got here. So I've got the new one that I ordered, the bad one, my voltage tester, this is the new battery and this is the old one. This is what it looks like when you take the wrapping off of it. So I just wanted to kind of show you how I do this. But I just have basic a basic multi multimeter here, and you need to make sure that you're on this setting right here, and you need to make sure it says DC uh, direct current. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the bad one looks like. So out of this, this is their charger, and you put the two prongs in here, and you look at the look at the amp hour meeting on the floor there, and or the or the voltmeter. And it's just kind of wildly fluctuating. It doesn't really know where to settle. Not really sure what any of that means. My guess is it's just bad. Also, this little light here, it's very faint, but you can kind of see it just pulsing. The other one, the good one, is always green. It's just going to steady. So now I'm going to show you what the good one looks like. And we just put the same process here. Same process here. And then look down there. See, it says 12.66, so it's just very, very little fluctuation, but you should be getting just about 12 and a half volts out of every single uh, charger. I'm sure they vary a little bit, um, but on the battery side, you do just do the same thing. You just put each one of your, of your probes here on the terminal. Try not to touch across them. That's not a good thing. But here, 8.78 volts. Um, so it's not quite reading correctly. This battery right here is the one that I charged up last night. This is the brand new one. And if all goes well, it should test 12 volts. 12.5, 12.49. That's really, really good. So that'll be a, a, a really great, uh, a really great battery for me. I don't know why this is defective. I think it's probably the charger, uh, considering it has this weird blinking thing going on. Um, I still like Nakwa. It annoys me that that the battery is defective um, because it basically ruined an entire day of fishing for me. Um, so uh, just one more thing. When you get the good charger and you hook it up to the battery, hook it up here, it'll show red, which means it's charging. Even though it's it's almost fully charged. It'll still, it'll still show a charge. And when that is, is uh, fully charged, it'll just show uh, green. Uh, I do not leave my batteries plugged in for a really long time. I find that they, um, they run down very slowly. Uh, you, I can go many trips with these. Uh, I run a Lowrance, uh triple shot um, uh, fish finder with mine and I can do it for uh, 10 hours straight easily, easily. Um, at the brightest settings. So, uh, Nakwa, I hope that uh, you guys get this and uh, you guys can uh, figure out what's going on here. But uh, my guess is that that's the problem.